area is one or more ranges of cells that you designate to print when you don't want to print the entire worksheet. So when you print a worksheet, after defining a print area, only the print area is printed. Hello and welcome to Excel in Excel. In this video, we are going to learn all about the print area in Excel. In our previous videos, we have seen how to print the entire worksheet and the workbook. But what if you want to print only the selected area? So let's see. So first you want to print only this area. Let's say only this area. So let me give it a color for ease of reference. You don't need to give it. I only give it for uh, easy reference. So point out to the page layout tab. Click on the print area. Further click on set print area. The print area gets selected. Let's see it in the preview. So I hit Ctrl P and you can see only the selected area is visible here. You can also see that in the name box, a named range has been created for the selected print area. Now the next step, let's say you want to add something like you also want this particular area to be printed with this area. Then I again go to the print area and this time I would click on add to print area. So let me also give this a color for ease of reference. I choose a blue color. Let's see in the preview now. You will notice the selected area has been added to a separate page. So each time you select an area, it will get added to a separate page. Now what if you select an adjacent area like I also want this particular area along with this area. So I again go to the page layout tab print area and select add to print area. And now let's take a look at the preview. So you will find in the second see you can see the area has been added. But one important point to note here is that it will get added only if you select the same dimensions. Like if my previous print area covers these many columns or these many rows, then I must select only these many rows. If I select more area than the previous area, then it won't get added to it. Now, let's say you want to add some columns in or and some rows. So if you do it in a normal way, you have to add the column separately, the row separately. So if you want to add all together, then you can use the name manager. So if you want to extend the print area, then you can go to the name manager. So to do that, go to the formulas tab, click on name manager, a name manager dialog box will pop up. As we already saw a named range for print area has been created. So if you want to edit this print area in the refers to section, you can do that. So the first print area we see here is B10 to F15. So this is this area B10 to F15. And the next we see is B2 to G8. The first one. So let's say I want to edit this print area. So I first remove which is already there and click on this arrow to select my range. So this will collapse my name manager dialog box. Now I can select the area I want to print. Go back to the dialog box, press enter and now the range is saved. Close it. Let's check in the preview. So if you check in the preview, you will notice the area which we selected to extend has been added. If you want to remove the print area, you can go to the page layout tab, click on print area and click on clear print area. Now this clear print area will remove all the print areas that you have selected. So if you want to remove only a particular area, say the first area, then again you can go to the name manager dialog box and in this dialog box, you can remove the area that you want to remove. Press enter and click on close. Now again, let's go to the preview and check. And here you'll find you have only one area selected. 
the other area got removed so this is all about the print area in excel if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for instant updates see you in the next video